Hello friends, I am Prakash Sunath. Welcome to my HTML CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn different layout. This is part first where you can create simple HTML layout using CSS. Here is a HTML basic page structure. This is a style tag. Let's create a simple layout. First, define a due tag and write or apply class that is main main save this page as a layout part 1 dot html now let us define a main class here in main class first define the width that is width is 950 pixels 960 pixels then define a background that is silver let's define height height is 600 pixel also define a border that is 1 pixel solid black and just run this page you find this output but I want this view at the center of this page so just take a width 900 you can see it's not at the center this is our actual view that is main to, to display center we will we will use margin and that is margin auto let's check output now see our entire div will be at the center let's divide this div into two part or three part as per the requirement in this main just write another div that is header part div that is class is a header header and give some title here that is CSS layout part 1 now let's check output ok this is at the top now let us find a CSS for this write a class that is header now we want width as same we will change the background color our width will be 900 and height of this height of this is div is 200 pixels and background will be pink just check out good now in this way I have created a divided this page into two part that is header part and details see let's define some css for the text that is text align is a center font size is 30 pixels you can also give a transformation let's text transformation text transform uppercase so one margin top margin top give 12 pixels so it will be at the center sorry instead of margin give a padding top margin and padding you can understand the difference so the, here is a space you can also give increase the uh, padding that is 20 in this way now let's divide this page into one more that is at the left side define some vertical name so 
This is our header part. Now just paste. This is our write down as a left part. Now this is our left part and uh, define a left in the CSS. So just this is what I will just change. I will copy paste this. The width is I don't want 900. I will just keep it as 300. Sorry, I will just keep it as 300. Then height height should be what just the height of this is 600 for main, and the height for this header is 100. So just minus it from 600. That is 500. Let's take it as a 450. That is 450. The background color. Let's change the background color as blue. Now text align center font size. Let's give font size is 20 pixels. Important part is just give float. Now first check out the output and then we will apply the float. Now see, this is by default it is a addition, but you should define this float otherwise it will make some trouble. So just float float left in this way you can create a simple layout one more thing we should define a content here this is our anchor tag a h r e f that is anchor tag is close just write down home use script tag and just copy paste all the here and you can see the output all the links are here now the give text color left color foreground color color is white now you can see output all angle should be there so first define left and so we will define dot left left and in that layer there is a, a tag and we will define a color for this that is white so after this it will look like this now add one more tag here which will display our content so again do and close it do write down content goes here here class is content now copy this define your class content and write a width for this here is our 250 so height is 450 or it should be same but width here is 900 we have minus 250 from 900 97 650 that is 650 is total width now just out what is output for this now our content goes here first we define the color for this so you can check the result background color is suppose white let's give some another color that is white we give yellow now check out the output now our div is not a proper place so this is a problem now first this is a problem with the float this is a problem with the float float q again float left so after this this refresh and just check out the output no? something is yellow right this this is this is float left and again float left you can see this is on proper place in this way you can create a content you can define a proper padding this is a starting of web development
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. For upcoming videos, click on bell button. Please share it, like it, and subscribe it. Thanks for watching. For this course, visit a link of my blog given in the description.